Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is entitled, How to Use Color Splash in Canva. So, let's get started. Um, okay, on our homepage, depending on what kind of uh, design you're trying to make, you can uh, use the search bar to look for something specific here. Say, for example, Instagram post or any other thing. Uh, or you can go to custom size and input your specific dimensions over here. So as for me, I'm going to go with um, 1000 by 1000, for example. And then I'm going to click on create new design. So we're going to be taken to the main editing page where we're going to do all of our editing. And here we are. Uh, this is the um, templates panel, by the way, in case you'd like to change your template. But I'm going to close that. We're not going to be needing that today. All right, so in order to apply our color splash effect, of course, we're going to need an image that we can work on. To use your own image, go to the upload section on the sidebar. And from here, you're going to choose the image that you want to use. But if you haven't uploaded um, your image to Canva yet, then click on the Upload Files button. Then find the files that you want to upload, say for example, this one. And then click on Open, or you can just double click on it to automatically upload it to Canva. And here it is. In order to add it to our page, we can drag it or we can click on it. And then we're going to resize it according to how big we'd like it to be. And there you go. So as for me, uh, before we do all the uh, splash effects, um, we're going to first add a filter to it to make it seem like it's a work of art or drawing. Uh, this picture, by the way, is a picture that I got from Pixabay, which is a platform that I really love because of um, all the amazing images that it offers for free. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go to edit photo. If you're using the new photo editor in Canva, then these are the options that you can see. Um, you have tools here for removing background, erasing something or editing something. Um, filters, we have very limited filters over here. Let's go back. And for the effects, we have one, two, three, four. Just four. Shadows, autofocus, blur, and duotone. So we have quite limited things to do in the a new photo editor. That's why, personally, I prefer the old editor. If you want to go back to the old editor, you can scroll down, go to the bottom, and click on click here. This prompt will appear. Uh, click on revert to the old editor. And we're going to see if we're finally reverted to the old one. So click on edit image. And here we are. We have been redirected to the old editor where we can use a lot more tools. And I like it. In case you want to go back to the new editor later to use the new tools, you can click on check it out. And yeah, as for me, I'd like to apply kind of like an artsy effect to my cute little puppy over here. And I'm looking for Prisma specifically. So we're going to try to find it. We're going to search it here. Here it is. And I'm going to click on Camel Cave. This is my favorite. But let's see if it's going to look good in our photo. Mm, I think it does. But unfortunately, it ruined our background. But that's okay. We can still remove the background. So I'm going to find BG Remover here. Or Background Remover. And I'm going to click on it. Okay, that's more I like it. So I'm going to click on Apply. All right, so now we're going to go to the Element section. 
and we're gonna look for splash elements we're gonna click on graphics but you can go to photos if you want but i like graphics more because we can change the color of graphic elements so basically we're just going to um select some graphic elements here graphic splash elements here that we can apply and what i like to do is i'd like to change the color of my splashes into the color of my background so that it's it's gonna seem like yeah like an artwork or something like that so basically we're just gonna keep on adding layers of splashes to our um, image over here Okay, and I'd like to duplicate this um, splash element over here. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to go to the color button, go to this rainbow plus button, and click on the color picker tool and select a certain portion of the um, image that I want to copy the color of. So there we go. I am going to do that again. I'm not really happy with the color that I chose. So how about somewhere over here? And I'm going to make it smaller. Or maybe we could choose another splash that's a bit smaller than this. How about this one? I'm going to delete this and uh, just apply the same color that we splashed earlier. I'm going to resize it and do something like that. I'm going to duplicate it and place the other one over here, but make it a bit bigger. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. We're going to change its color to the same color as this cute little dog's coat. Let's do that again. Okay, I think that's it. We have a lot of elements. <laughs> and so, in order to keep them in place, we're going to select all of them or press Ctrl plus A on our keyboard and then group them by clicking on this button or pressing Ctrl plus G on our keyboard. And there you go. It's too big. Maybe we could crop it. So we're going to... Oh, no, we can't crop them. We can only crop them individually, which is not what we want. So yeah, I think that's it. You can add some decorative elements to your um, design over here if you want to. Let's give it a try. Um, let's say painted flowers, for example. Go to graphics. How about this one? This looks nice. Then maybe we could add another another splash. Or what about splatter? Maybe we could choose smaller splatters. Like this one, for example. And then copy the image of um, the flower. The color of the flower, I mean. There. And that's it. Once you're happy with your design, you can finally go ahead and download it. So go to the share button above and go to download. 
So this is where you're going to select your preferred file type or the file type you'd like your image to be saved as. If you're um, if you want to save it as an image format, then PNG is the best. But for print, then PDF would be the best choice. But yeah, choose um, a certain format here according to your needs. And adjust other download settings as well according to your preferences. And once everything is done, click on download. And there you have it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching. And we look forward to seeing you soon again in the next video. You have a great day.